The goal of this procedure is to prepare biodegradable, three-dimensional foam-like cell scaffolds based on biocompatible side-chain liquid crystal elastomers. This method can help answer key questions in the liquid crystal and biomedical fields, such as the effects of liquid crystal elastomer properties on cell proliferation and alignment. The main advantage of this method over two-dimensional cell scaffolds is it permits the study of spatial cell-cell interactions, which is rarely possible in 2D microenvironments. Generally, those new to this method will struggle with the tactile compression tests. We first had the idea for this method after having to change the media in hundreds of petri dishes. We wondered if liquid crystal elastomers could support muscle cells on a 3D network to eliminate the use of so many petri dishes. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as some steps require careful manipulation of chemicals. Further, shaping the metal foam template may be challenging. First, fill a 20 milliliter ampoule with a 2% by volume solution of PFOTES in toluene. Stir the solution in the ampoule for 24 hours to silanize the ampoule interior. Rinse the silanized ampoule with isopropyl alcohol and dry it at 140 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Place 3.64 grams of distilled Epsilon caprolactone, 0.5 grams of alpha chloro Epsilon caprolactone, and 0.25 milliliters of glycerol in the dry ampoule. 